I love your part two. So I'm just gonna jump right on you. All right. You didn't watch part one, you already know what to do, or you could just do whatever you want, right? Because you're probably an adult. So here's what it is, you guys. Boom. Boom. All of a sudden, everything changes. It's all about the money for you guys, okay? But you can't see that there's also another new beginning in your life that's in front of your face. <laughs> and it's all love and peace. And this is something and or someone who is so into you and would do anything you want them to do. And everything you want with them, they want it with you, okay? And you guys are going to expand. There's a relationship in your line, Leo. But I feel like for a lot of you guys, this is business, all right? Your business is expanding. But there's also a relationship that's not, that you, maybe something that you're focused on right now that you want to expand is not expanding, Okay? Maybe something that you're focused on that you want a new beginning in is not really having a new beginning in it. But you guys, there's a new beginning that you just can't see, okay? That you're not paying attention to. And it's a new beginning in moving on from the past and letting stuff go and no more going back to the past and how ungrounded it is to go back to the past. A lot of you guys are realizing it's ungrounded to actually live in the past. A lot of you guys are also blocking a new beginning around removing somebody from your life who is ungrounded and unreliable and inconsistent, okay? And they thwart your happiness, okay? And they block you from following your fucking heart, okay? And they, you know, this is a very abundant thing. This person or this, this situation, this agreement, this, this group, whatever this work is even, that's not really working for you. It brings you good fortune and fame. But you guys have had nothing but your not wish come true. <laughs> you guys, right, have had nothing but not your wishes coming true, okay? And something and someone has been blocking you, which is probably this, has been blocking you from being at peace and from making peace with the past, okay? From taking action and being optimistic. Whoever or whatever this is, it's thwarting you from being in your bliss, okay? And they keep on drudging up old emotional wounds and this situation here is so fucking toxic in every fucking way. It's just like everything you've ever dealt with from before. And a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys, you know, you're just done, okay? A lot of you guys don't even trust your intuition even. A lot of you guys have so many fake-ass bitches in your fucking life. It's ridiculous. I can't. I can't believe these readings this week. I'm like, what? <laughs> Dang. Dang, mama. It's the fuck All right, you guys. So also, there's been a lot of people around you who are not truthful, okay? Oof, you have not been trusting your intuition. Some of you guys have been lying, hiding, right? Living a double life and it was exposed. Somebody who was living a double life was exposed. Oh my goodness. Some of you guys are dealing with a crook and a half and you just aren't even sure how you're gonna move on. Some of you guys was dealing with a crook. Okay, and that and that's another thing. <laughs> Some of you guys were near a, cro a crook or just moved on from a crook. Okay. Mm. A lot of you guys, it's like you have an offer to, to do something that's illegal, but you don't want to do it. Okay. And that's a, that's an offer. Somebody's offering you something that's illegal or it's not really legal to do just yet and you're turning it down or you know you could be starting a new beginning that you're going to regret okay or a new beginning that's not for you so you're going to be thwarted out of it you know what i'm saying and not in a bad way it's not because oh shame on you it's just because that's just how it's looking in the reading i'm not putting no judgment I, i'm just doing a reading i'm adding nothing to this reading Okay, so you guys are going to expand from something small to something much, much, much bigger. 
You can be so fucking happy by the first, by the 15th of November, 2021. Oh, you're already happy since the recent past, okay? But it's like a lot of you guys, there's something blocking you. It's like you got the new beginning. It was like, yes. And then right now, or when you're starting November, you're gonna be like, what? You're gonna be like, what the fuck is going on? You know? You guys are gonna be dealing with a lot of animosity, intention, negativity, a lot of toxicity, a lot of abandonment. A lot of you guys are about to get abandoned. Okay? Can you tell me more spirit? By uh, clients. Uh, you know, people people who you deal with every day, viewers, stuff like that. You work on TV and stuff. People who normally watch your TV stations and stuff, they're not watching your TV stations. Some of you guys is thwarted. Something ca might ca happen, right? That thwarts stations, social media and stuff like that, and mad niggas can't talk and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because it feels like this kid, this is a jack in the hat. And this is a box trick that nobody, that none of you guys at least manifested. You guys didn't, you guys didn't ask for this. You know, some of you guys, you know, maybe you did, but you forgot. You know what I'm saying? Oof. You know, you're finding a transformation and perhaps this is helping you to transition out of being competitive in the workplace, buying into contracts and lack and getting, 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 getting more to the bag and getting more to your abundance. So, Leo, something, <laughs> it just expands, a partnership, something you've been working on, business, contract, enterprise, this is something, and this is something that wasn't going nowhere, okay? Niggas was saying it wasn't going nowhere, niggas was thwarting it and stuff. It was being thwarted, absolutely, 100%. But it's not being thwarted anymore. Now, I believe this partnership is with the Gemini, right? This Gemini, this is a Gemini in your family. This might be a Gemini you've known for a long time. This Gemini might could be a blessing or they might could not be a blessing no more. This might could be somebody who passed on, okay? Um, now, something is happening here where something that was small before is now growing because this person's out of your life and they can no longer work their sorcery in your love connection. Hmm. Cause I'm not saying this person was working sorcery, but this person might have been. There's a lot of soulless human beings, right? Mm, I want to focus on this. It feels like it's a distraction. I feel like you guys get very distracted around this, and um, you know, you get thwarted. Like it's just so much mayhem around you and around your life and around your work and your general life. Like, and so you something that was something stayed small for so long, and now it can finally grow because. Like the, the water is exposed, okay? Now, I want to know more about this um, Gemini man or woman or, you know, the water. This was this is somebody who came into your life you didn't want. This is somebody who blocked an offer, a new beginning in your life. Oh my gosh, tell me more about this. This was a man. Um, this was somebody who took action. This is somebody who you trusted, okay? Maybe you didn't trust them. You safeguarded your emotions, your mind from them. What happened to this person? What is going on with them? Why are they so, perhaps this person died. You know, maybe this person died. Somebody here, you know, a Gemini died and they were thwarting something you were working on. And now that they're fucking in the ground, you could, you know, you could have your, because this person was thwarting you. They were thwarting you. They were. Okay. This person was thwarting your commitment, stealing, stealing your lack of, of you know, making you lack faith and trust or getting between trying to be your God. You know what I'm saying? This Gemini was trying to, um, they were being, they were narcissistic. They abused the rules. They abused your good heart, okay? This Gemini abused how, like the fact that you're somebody who holds your word and you do, you know what I'm saying? They took, they take advantage of that, okay? And they thwart others and then they, they, they semi-invest and they get niggas to fully invest and then they semi-quarter invest, fuck them. So they got devastation. This person got devastated in their life. They got an injustice, just like how they're, they're so unjust. I never seen that before in my life. I have, you know what I'm saying? But they're so unjust, nasty girl, nasty boy. And this person now, they gossiped. They never minded their goddamn business, never. 
And this person also projected their animosity, their fears, their programming. Oh, I hate them, you know? This person was so two-faced. Oh my goodness. Oh. 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 This person was so two-faced. Oh God. Oh. <laughs> they thwarted opportunities. They took opportunities, this person. They're so crooked. Oh, this person is so crooked. Oh my goodness, there's a crooked Jack. Crooked Jack, and I'm sure glad because he sure did hit the road. He sure did. Mm -mm. He hit the heavenly road or the hell, the highway to hell, <laughs> whichever one he hit, but I'm sure he hit it. Or he's about to. Some of you guys, this person is hanging off for dear life. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to fight it. No, nigga, get in the ground, please. Go inside, okay? <laughs> Thank you. No, <laughs> no, he did a lot. He thwarted and thwarted and thwarted and thwarted and thwarted. It's like, I don't even know how you can keep doing this and survive. This motherfucking Gemini psychotic fucking animal. <laughs> this beast. <laughs> you beast. <laughs> Oh, good. Some of you guys dealt with the Gemini and, you know, you needed to heal from dealing with this fucking bitch or this dude. But that dude is a bitch. Okay. Unisex. He's a bitch. You know, he... You need a time. Okay. And now I'm so happy. A partnership is now growing. And it's growing so beautifully. It's growing beautifully. With every step that you take, it grows. Every inch that you move, it moves. Every change that you make, it, it follows suit. It, it's not, it's, it's every day it gets better and better. It's not a five steps forward, 20 steps back. That person was using energy to thwart your life. They might've been using spell work, okay? And you got back the upper ground. You sent them back some dark ass fucking energy. <laughs> Like, what the fuck is wrong with people? That is so scary. If, if anything, all it made you do, it just made you scared. That's all it made you was scared because you didn't know this person. They can't actually work in your life. They're not special or unique. They're not gifted in that way, okay? They don't have any special talents. They're not divine. So they can't use that tool. It's not for them. So, and they're using it to be toxic and thwart you, then they're obviously headed down a dark road and some dark being is using them up. Some demon has possessed them and is using them to get your attention. You know what I'm saying? Like, if that's, this, if that's the case, it's a psycho, period. Because it's not working. It just turns your faith to Christ and God and whoever you went back to. And then, and then they look so stupid because then now they're dead. Now they're dying or dead. Cause you was praying to God to get this motherfucker out your life who was thwarting you and you couldn't even figure it out. You felt like your life was in danger. Somebody was plotting on somebody else. Somebody, 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 somebody was plotting in the back. Somebody was totally a fucking spy. Somebody was a fucking spy. Somebody was spying on you. Perhaps a water sign, perhaps an earth sign. Okay. <laughs> he was spying. He's a spy. Oh my God. So you guys are just, you know, this is a gift from the universe. Just take it as a gift. That's it. <laughs> like sometimes the universe just sends you a gift. <laughs> just take it as a gift. Some of you guys, you know, <clears throat> somebody you love could be buying you a gift, you know, and it's a really big gift or somebody you love is, is knows this person, you know, somebody who nurtures, somebody who's very sweet and nurturing and kind, they know whoever this person is and they're connecting you with somebody who's really amazing for your business and they take your business from one level to the next. But somehow you guys, and it feels like spirit and this could totally be spirit doing this for you, bringing this in for you, for a lot of you guys. Somehow you're getting a major expansion and you guys are going from something, something was really small and then it's just gonna be super big. It's just gonna be something that you have to upkeep every day. And it's like, you know, this is a business now. If you started a project, it's turning into a business. By the 15th of November, 
if this is going to be a business okay whatever you're working on it's going to be a business and you're going to be like hamina hamina you probably already are but it's just going to keep on growing some of you guys you got an idea right and then you didn't take action you're not taking action on the idea and that's what the energy is right now that's why you feel like everything is block 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 because block, block. you got to take action on that idea that you had and get out of being afraid you're just a little bit afraid once you take action on it boom boom <laughs> you got it and then boom expansion comes in you're gonna see right direct a hundred fucking percent a hundred fucking percent <laughs> everyone knows. So um, <laughs> this is a good week. Leo's got a good ass fucking week. Okay, let's go. <laughs> All You guys, there's love available to you. You're not fully letting it in, but you could the there's the love that you seek and the love that you need and the love that you are, you know, you know, if you're feeling terrible right now, can have for yourself is so beautiful. Okay? And it's there. You're just not really fully seeing it. You're feeling a little bit like um unlovable okay but it's here for you and then you guys also have another angel nearby in your life that's bringing you justice you're not letting it in it's not able to come in okay and also there's a message that comes with this all right so in this position the angel balance comes with a loving warning that something may be seriously out of proportion in your life. It could be an important emotional com component, such as lack of self-acceptance or self-care. Remember, however, that when you put yourself last, the universe will do likewise. Receiving this card, reverse, can often be a warning of lost energy, calling you to relax more, sleep more, and even Drink more water. Investigate how you may be out of balance in your time and energy regarding the externals and internals in your life. The adjacent cards in your spread could indicate the particulars. Perhaps you've been working too much or been too obsessed with relationships or money. This loving angel can help bring you the courage and wisdom you need to break such toxic patterns Meditate on the angel's presence and visualize her pouring a beautiful liquid light through all of your chakras, balancing them and bringing you peace. Remember that you always have power to bring things back into peaceful balance. All right. Ooh. All right, you guys. Mm. All right, you guys. A divine partner is on your path. This will be a love like you've never had before. 
um, like you've never known before. A lot of you guys, this energy is somewhat thwarted in your life, okay? Perhaps you've been focused on somebody who you think is your divine partner, but perhaps this person is not your divine partner. Perhaps some of you guys are wanting to meet your divine partner, which the answer is yes. You, if you are wondering if you have a divine partner, the answer is yes. Okay, whatever you're wondering about, the answer is yes. However, there's some component of your divine partner or your path as well, or even both, that is misunderstood and misconstrued. And perhaps even you could be removing that block over these next two weeks and uncovering it, what it could be for yourself, okay? So your spiritual path is being illuminated. This is such an intensely beautiful, profound two weeks for Leos, okay? You're going to see that your spiritual path was just beginning. No matter how long you've been on it, some people longer, some people shorter. It is always just beginning. And right now, it really is just be beginning. And you're just uncovering a new wand and a new bend that's so intriguing and interesting and beautiful and life-altering and life-ogling and inexplicable but beautiful, okay? So you guys enjoy these first two weeks of November 2021, first the 15th, and I'll be back later to do the second two weeks. God bless you guys, and I'll talk to you guys all soon. Bye-bye.